it's going to be my turn let's draw a new hand here <sighs> this looks really bad I'm gonna keep this hand see how it works out if I get mono flooded here this is game over really fast Right, a wall and wise from the opponent. He should know what color of mana I have and the kind of deck I have. There's no point in waiting. Got himself a black mana. Alright. So, we got ourselves a turn 5 Sky Sovereign. Interesting. But we'd need something more substantial here. If we are to win, all right. Our opponent got himself a copter. This means we can hit for six next turn by making the full run of slaughter enter the game and gain haste. So I think we're gonna do just that. Hit for 6, leave our opponent at 14. Let's see which creature he has to crew the copter and if he's going to attack or he's going to defend. Alright, he got himself another copter. Well, having two copters is really good on the field, but... <clears throat> Let's see, we can go for the Titan Strength. So we can hit for 2 and 6, 8. 8 and 3, 11. I think this is what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and attack. And since he has no untapped mana, Liliana, I'm just not too sure if this is going to be of any help to us, honestly speaking. All right, let's keep her on the top. She's going to be our plan B. Most likely I'm just going to use her second ability to try and get some creatures in the graveyard and self-mill to get at least one of the creatures to crew this guy sovereign. Alright, our opponent has been replaced by the AI. So I guess we have won this game. Let's just go ahead and attack. And this is game over. Let's see. Just one creature is not enough. Alright, this looks a bit better. Although I would prefer not to have so many pump spells here. It's going to be our opponent's turn. So let's go ahead and wait and see. Our opponent starts with a hissing quagmire. We're going to start off with an inventor's apprentice. And the situation looks quite grim for us if everything we get is pump spells, since our opponent has quite a lot of removal in his hands. It's 
still believe it's somewhat better than the hand we had before when we had only one creature. Alright, and a wall and wilds. So, might have access to a fatal push for one black mana. But nothing much we can do about it. So, I think we better bite the bullet and just cast out the Speedway Fanatic and see if it will get removed. Alright, here is the Fatal Push. One creature down, one Fatal Push down. We hit for one and wait. Our opponent has an Edosphere Harvester, so he gets access to Lifelink. This is quite decent. Alright, we got a third mana. We can either pump out our Inventor's Apprentice to the maximum, or we can cast out something like PNLR here. Or we can go for the Aslan Visitor here. Hmm. I think it's better if I cast out PNLR and develop the board. This means I can also hit for 2 this turn. So let's go ahead and attack. We'll leave our opponent at 17. Alright, 3 mana on the table, red source of mana confirmed, a Glinsleaf Siphoner. Let's see if he's willing to attack with the Harvester. He is, also has 1 mana in reserve, so we'll gain 3 life from this attack because we're not going to block back to 20, we're down to 17 so let's see, we can go for the forerunner of slaughter this turn we can hit for sizable damage here, we can hit potentially for 5 and 3, 8 damage. Alright, I don't really hate this. Let's go ahead and attack. Our opponent is down to 12. Let's see if he's willing to spend life to draw cards. He is, so no more energy at least for now. Might have a different source if he attacks with the Glinsleaf Siphoner. Alright, a Woodland Wanderer. So, quite a powerful creature. He is not going to attack. Alright. 
We got ourselves one more mana, so we can pump out to the maximum. Let's see. He is definitely going to block the Thopter. We have 9 damage here and trample, so we can we can make it into a 10-10. And he also doesn't have energy. So yeah, I think I'm just going to attack with everything. 10, 5 damage, mm, no, not gonna work like this, so let's go ahead and attack just with a Thopter. I need to deliver this damage. This turn. Let's wait for him to confirm the block. Alright. So build to smash one. Build to smash two. And Titan Strength here as well. Because I want to see what is the next card. It is Titan Strength. So we're just going to leave our opponent at 6 and wait. Let's see if he has a flyer. He does have a smuggler's copter. So let's see what we're going to top to top deck here. Alright, this is a Sky Sovereign console flagship. We can exchange the Thopter for the Smuggler's Copter. If we would like. Or we can play out the Aslan Visitor. Honestly speaking, I don't mind just playing out the Visitor this turn. I don't know if the lane will be good for us. Let's play out the Visitor and wait next turn. Alright, unless this integration, so he's going to get rid of PNLR. We're also down to 14. Fatal push, unless it's disintegration. He's going to attack and we're going to take this damage. Right, has another Glyn Sleeve Siphoner. And Hihini, the Undying Partisan. So quite a lot of creatures have entered the fray. And we're going to have Kalitos. Not too bad. Let's see if he has removal. If he does have removal, we're going to be in for a lot of trouble. If he doesn't, we might still have a chance to win. By getting some more mana for the Sky Sovereign.
right, he is going to use the smuggler's copter. Smuggler's copter is not something we can block, except with the thopter. But I'm not going to do this. He probably has another flyer that he can use. Right, instead it's a Voltaic Brawler. Interesting, so he did draw quite a lot of creatures. Alright, we got ourselves a Smoldering Marsh, which means we can start getting rid of some of his creatures here. So, which one is it going to be? He has just one card in his hand. He has four creatures lined up here. What we can do is we can attack with everything we've got. He can sacrifice a creature to Yahini here. But we're going to get the Kalatas trigger, so I think we can still play it defensively at least four. A very little while. Let him sacrifice a creature for Yahini. All right. We're not going to attack with the exception of a Thopter. For one damage, because we can still crew the Sky Sovereign. I hope our opponent doesn't have removal. We didn't have an extra mana to grant it haste, unfortunately. So let's wait and see how it goes. He did draw an additional card using energy from the Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Let's see if he drew something good. We are going to draw an additional card and lose one life because of the Azalum Visitor next turn, unless he gets rid of it some way. Alright. A Woodland Bellower. So might draw the... Yep. That is a very good draw, he can get a Reclamation Sage here, which is going to get rid of the Sky Sovereign. So he can hit us for 3 with the Smuggler's Copter. And he got some pretty good creatures. Alright, he is going to attack with everything here. So let's see. Can we block completely or not? That is the question. They both have menace. So we can get hit for 5. He also has Voltaic Brawler here, so... Let's see. Oh, we can go... Like this. All right, let's see. Like that, like that. Like this. Like this. Like that. So he's going to hit us for two, four. Yep. We'll have to go with Kalitas here. Wait a second. Alright. 
we are down to three but we did block with Kalitas so we did gain this life and he is tapped out so probably this was a clutch play and we're going to swing with everyone confirm and that was quite a close and interesting game thanks for the games gimmick man and good luck on the rest of the tournament